Hi, this video is the Crown Vertex Hair Restoration and we emphasize around over 2,000 grafts on this patient and fill in this uh, Crown Vertex area and a year later, it looks fantastic. Again, Crown Hair resto uh, Restoration is more difficult than the front in terms of coverage and thus people more than uh, more compared to the front more likely than not, you're gonna need more than one surgery. You have perfect density, again, but not all the time. Sometimes you can get away with one surgery. Sometimes you get away two. But the more you hair you put in, the better it is. There are differences when you're restoring the front toward the back. The goal in the back is volume and density. The goal in the front is not softness and naturalness. So selection of hair graft is important. We try to plant roots and roots to go single hair graft in the front to make the hairline very soft and natural. Follow the root to go two hair, three hair, and four hair in the back for bulk and volume. Again, the goal in the back is volume and density, thus we use larger root. The angle of the hair is different, starting in the front hairline is around 35-45, increases when we go backward and changes when you go different direction. The hair will flare down, point it down, backward, this way. The other important factor is the reinforcement. We're not only filling the ball spot, but we try to apply into the peripheral area as well. Why? Because we anticipate there's four hair loss in the peripheral area, so that way there won't be an island of hair. Uh, when you actually lose more hair because there's some, the transplant hair out around the peripheral area. For more information, you can call 1 866 999 6482 or 408 356 8600 or www.mhtaclinic.com. Okay, before and after, over 2000 graph. Thank you.